Hi there. Now for this question then, we're told that Sarah uses 6 grams of chemical in the first experiment, 7.8 grams in the second experiment, and so on. And the amounts form a geometric progression. And we're given that the total amount of chemical that she's got is 1,800 grams. And we've got to show that for n experiments, 1.3 to the power n must be less than or equal to 91. And then go on to find out what n is by using logarithms. So that means then if she does n experiments, we would know that the total amount, which we'll call Sn, okay, the sum of all the amounts for n experiments, must be less than or equal to the 1,800 grams that she's got available. But when it comes to working out the sum of the first n experiments, the amounts that she uses, Sn would be equal to 6 plus 7.8 plus and so on, okay? up to however many experiments that uh, she does. Now, from this, we should be familiar with the sum of the n terms of a geometric progression. Just as a recap, you've got your terms a, ar, ar squared, etc., where you're multiplying by a common ratio called r. And you should be familiar with the formula that sn equals a, all multiplied by r to the n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. So for this, we can see that a is the 6. OK, so a is the 6. And we're multiplying by the common ratio r. And to work out what that common multiplying factor is, we just do 7.8 divided by 6. And if you do that, you'll find you get 1.3. So we're multiplying then each term by 1.3. So therefore, if we apply this formula here for Sn, we know that A, which is the 6, so let's just put therefore 6 multiplied by R to the power N. Well, R is 1.3, so we've got 1.3 to the power N minus the 1, okay, all divided by R minus 1, so all divided by 1.3 minus 1, that's Sn, must be less than or equal to 1,800. So this is 0 0.3 in the denominator here. And so if I divide 0 0.3 into the 6, you'll find it goes 20 times. So I'll just cancel that out and say it goes into that 20 times. So what we've got then is therefore 20 times 1.3 to the power n minus 1 must be less than or equal to 1,800. Now if I divide both sides by 20, I'm just left with 1.3 to the power n minus 1 is less than or equal to, and 1,800 divided by 20 is 90. So can you see that therefore if I add 1 to both sides, I therefore end up with 1.3 to the power n is less than or equal to 90 plus the 1, 91. Now we're being asked to go on to calculate what n is by using logarithms. So what we do is we take logs to both sides. You can be in any base that you like. I'm going to work in base 10, but do experiment if you wish. So we don't need to write base 10 here, just write log. So you've got log of 1.3 to the power n is less than or equal to the log of the other side, log of 91. And then we use the power rule for logs. We can say that this is the same as n times the log of 1.3, okay? And that will be less than or equal to what we have here on the right, log of 91. Next, we divide both sides by the log of 1.3. So we therefore have n is less than or equal to the log of 91 
divided by the log of 1.3. Okay, so if you work this out on your calculator, you end up with n is less than or equal to 17.193 and so on. Now we want the biggest value that n can be and the biggest value, the max n if you like, we'll just put max n, okay, has to be an integer and it has to be less than or equal to this number. So maximum value has got to be 17. 17 experiments then she would need to do.